Sam just took a nap. When he woke up, he saw a very scary scene. Sam likes music and doesn't like to socialize. He came to a party today to get his music tapes back from his ex-girlfriend. But when he communicated with her, his ex-girlfriend ignored him. She told him to go to his room and wait. Sam went to the room and quickly found the tape. But at that moment, he started to have a nosebleed. As he was not feeling well, he locked the door behind him. He lay down on the couch and tried to get some rest. But he slept through the night. When he woke up in the morning, he felt recovered. But the kitchen was a mess. The walls were covered with blood stains. Had there been a terrorist attack? Sam panicked. He picked up an ashtray and cautiously looked into the hallway. It was horrible. He looked out the window. The street and the building across the street are full of zombies running around. A man rushed into his car and honked his horn to call his family. But he was soon eaten up by the zombies swarming around him. Sam Saturday on the ground in fear. He couldn't get out. He goes to the roof of his house to look out and finds the whole city in shambles. To survive, Sam set out on a mission. Since he was going to live in the building permanently, his first step was to clean up. But as he's scrubbing the floor, he hears a noise downstairs. He turned his ears to listen. Sam looked down carefully. It turned out to be an old man who had killed himself. Sam found a hose and cut a big hole. And he climbed down. Here he saw another body. It was the old man's wife. They committed suicide together in the face of a desperate zombie apocalypse. Sam started searching for supplies. He grabbed a gun and carefully made his way down the hallway. Fortunately, the corpse he encountered had his back to Sam. He closes the door and goes to the kitchen. A walker tried to attack him, but the windows are barred and there is no danger. Sam finds a can of food and eats it. After he has eaten his fill, Sam takes his tools and goes door to door in the building to collect supplies. When he comes across a room with a walker in it, he immediately escapes and marks the door with a sign. With this filtering, Sam safely collected food. He drew up a chart to carefully distribute the amount of food each day. His food and drink problems were solved. Next came the problem of his life. Although Sam is a geek, but without the internet in the apocalypse, he didn't dare to dawdle every day. He wandered around the room. He found a lot of toys in a kid's room. He listens to a walkman and shoots walkers with a toy gun. He even met an old walker in the elevator room. And instead of killing him, he locked him up inside. This is the only thing in the building that moves besides him. Soon Sam couldn't stand the lifeless building. He tried to return to his musical hobby. He tried to make a little noise. But the zombies are coming when they hear the sound. He couldn't play anymore. That day Sam smelled a strange smell. He looked around and found the bodies of the old couple downstairs starting to decompose. He took precautions and threw the bodies down the stairs. But he couldn't bear to carry them to the window. He thought about it and put the bodies back on the bed and packed them in a sleeping bag. He also put the couple's photo in the middle and gave them a simple funeral. Sam was a little sad how he wished he was not the only one who survived. Sam felt a growing sense of emptiness. He often had nightmares that he had been eaten by walkers. But when he wakes up, he's still alone in the empty darkness. To pass the time Sam tries to do something he hasn't done before. He ran around the building. When he gets tired of running, he talks to the old man in the elevator. This day Sam was playing with a toy gun by the window again. He's played with it more times than he can count. Suddenly he sees a kitten on the street. He was so excited and invited the kitten in with a box of canned food. But then suddenly, there was a noise and the kitten was scared away. Sam wanted to get the kitten back. He carefully hid behind the car to check, but a zombie rushed over to him. Sam was so scared that he rolled into the car. The zombie also pushed in. After a frightening struggle, Sam ran home in a panic. He shut the zombie outside the door, but before he could rest, he found his hand was injured. He was worried that he had been bitten by a walker, so he went to the mirror to check it out. Just in case, he also put a gun to his chin. Once his condition worsened, he would immediately kill himself, but he fell asleep while waiting. Sam woke up with a shock. He wasn't infected. He laughed with excitement, but it didn't take long for him to get depressed again. He was so lonely, he was so bored that he started hearing things. He always thought someone was in the room. He couldn't take it anymore. He packed his bag several times to leave, but he could never make up his mind. He was afraid of being alone, but he was also afraid of dying. Sam started to drink his sorrows away. He argued with the old man in the elevator. He went crazy playing the drums. He found a way to vent his helplessness. The zombies came running. But he didn't stop walking to the window and shouting. This life was killing him. Desperate, Sam fell on his bed. Suddenly he heard a movement outside the door. He grabbed his gun and looked into the hole. Oh my god, it was a person. Sam opens the door and brings Anne in. She has been shot. Sam is scrambling to treat her. He wouldn't let her die. The next morning, Sam came into the room. Anna survived. 
Sam made her soup. They ate and talked. Anna was one of the survivors. She had been watching Sam from the opposite building for a long time. But he wouldn't come out. That's why she came looking for him. She's not like Sam. She's been out on the street and looking for a safe haven. She urged Sam to do the same. Because sticking to one place is never an option. But Sam was still afraid to venture out. Despite their differences of opinion, Sam was happy to have a partner. But as the numbers grew, they began to run out of food. So that Anna could eat. Sam found the room that was previously marked with walkers. He punched a hole in the door and shot the walkers down. He found new food for Anna. But when he returned, Anna was gone. Sam finds her on the roof. Anna says she's almost healed. Once it heals, she'll leave. She again persuades Sam to come with him. Sam thinks she's crazy at first. But after a moment of agitation, he decided to listen to Anna. He couldn't stand to be alone anymore. He needed company. Sam came to the door of the room. He apologized to Anna. She was the right one, but there was no sound at the door. Sam's mind starts to drift. It's like he realizes something. He opened the door and saw Anna's body lying on the bed. She'd been dead for days. It turned out that Anna hadn't been brought back to life by Sam that night. Because he was too lonely, everything that happened afterwards was a hallucination on Sam's part. Sam shed tears of grief. He gave Anna a simple funeral. Then he looked through the video camera in Anna's backpack. He realized that Anna had been watching him from the building across the street. Sam put Anna's backpack on his back and decided to go on an adventure. He set fire to the music tapes in his room. He unleashes the old men in the elevator room. The alarm goes off because of the smoke and fire alarm. The walkers all rush into the house. Sam panics a bit, but this time he didn't hide. He fought bravely with the zombies. Finally, he was forced to the elevator room. To reach the top floor, Sam climbed up from the elevator shaft. Once he reached the roof, he quickly tied the rope. He threw the hook on the opposite side of the roof. He jumped before the zombies arrived. Sam was knocked unconscious, but soon after, he woke up in a blur. He sees the grim-looking walkers by the window and gathers the courage to climb up. Finally, he reaches the roof. Exhausted, he gasped for breath, but a smile appeared on his face. He looked into the distance, a landscape he had never seen before. Sam's journey from living alone to braving the elements. In fact, it symbolizes the journey of every one of us to get out of the cage of our close-minded, the cold society.